everyone on YouTube, this is Seha Man, and we're going to be kicking it off now. We're going to start doing um, reviews, horror related, whether it be movies, whether it be anything, action figures, whatever. Um, I'm still going to be doing my regular reviews on the side, but I'm also going to be adding in extra reviews as far as Halloween stuff goes. You know, we got, um, I think, a little over a week before it's October 31st, so we're going to kick it off with this as our first review for um, some Halloween stuff, and this is actually based off of Halloween. This is the John Carpenter, well, the first one's John Carpenter, but um, this is the Halloween Complete Collection set. Uh, this is something that I picked up when it first came out. I did pick it up at Best Buy. It was a little over $100. There is two versions of this set. I already took all the plastic stuff and all that off it, so you're not going to be able to see you know, the little covering that came over it. But I'll show you what the, uh, the front looks like. It's got some artwork right there of Michael Myers. You can see that there. Right here on the side, you get a really nice image of the pumpkin. The Complete Collection 15 Disc, Blu-ray, Anchor Bay, and Scream Factory. Now this is, uh, again, this is a 15 disc set. There is a 10 disc set, which doesn't, uh, which doesn't include, the main reason why I got this basically is because I wanted The Curse of Michael Myers, the, um, the Director's Cut, or is it, I think it's called The Director's Cut, but uh, I, the one with Paul Rudd, I'm pretty sure all of you know which one that is, but um, I actually really liked it. I'll get into what I thought about it in a minute, but that's, that's mainly right, the main reason why I got this. Now, that's the side here. Right here on the side, you get a really nice artwork there of the um, the neighborhood, and there's, there's Michael Myers hiding behind some trees, which is actually really nice. I like how this looks. And at the top, it does read Halloween 15 Disc Collection. At the bottom, I already showed you guys that. And then right here on the side, there's all the films. Now, we're going to go through each one of them individually, but I'll show you the little booklet that this does come with. So you can see this right here. There's um, a pumpkin right there, and there's the spine. Here's the back. There's nothing really there. And you open this up, and it just shows you, you know, some stuff on um, on Halloween. I'll skim the, through this really quick. There's um, John Carpenter. Keep on going. There's some really cool, really cool stuff right there. I think it's gonna go through like every every movie. But uh, yeah. There's Rob Zombie's Halloween. So there's that right there. So you get a really cool booklet with this. Um, so that's what you get there. Now we'll start off with the first film, which is Halloween. Now I do own the only Blu-ray Halloween disc that I own. Let me see if I can get it really quick. I don't know if I have it. Oh, it's actually right here. I have. I think I have all the other Halloweens on DVD, but I don't. I never owned the first. I never owned any on Blu-ray. And this is the first one I actually own now. And it's cool that this is all black discs. And uh, you got the original poster art right there, The Night He Came Home. And the only Halloween Blu-ray I got was this one here, which was the um, Halloween 35th Anniversary, John Carpenter. This is the one I got, I think, I got this last year at Walmart, I think. This is the uh, Digibook version right there. So this is the only one that I did get. But, <clears throat> so now I have this one here, and this one is, um, it's got the, all the special features right there. It is a two-disc set. So you can see if you pause or whatever, you can see all the special features. And I think this version is from here, so which is pretty cool. So you get Halloween 1 right there, and I love the whole you know artwork and everything. So there's the discs inside. Take that out. Here is Halloween 2. I actually like this um, movie as well. From the people who brought you Halloween, more of the night he came home. Really nice. There's a spine. And there's a back. So you can see this one does have a lot of special features as well. It's got an alternate ending. So that's pretty cool. And I think this is the one that has um, the different versions. I could be wrong. Or was that Halloween 2? Or Halloween 1? Oh, no. Halloween TV. The night came home. Okay, I could be wrong. I haven't viewed all of these yet. But here's um, Halloween 2. There's the two discs right there. But I'm pretty sure one of these has like a TV version. And uh, there's the the front, again, the original poster art for the movie. Really nice. Halloween 3. You know, I never really cared for this movie. And I think the last time, I, I think I've only seen this movie twice in my life. The last time I saw it, I was a young kid. So I really have to rewatch these. I haven't seen all of these on Blu-ray yet. There's a spine. I do love the poster, though, for this season of The Witch. And uh, here's the back right here. And then there's the special features that um, it does have. So if you want to read that, feel free and pause. Next up is Halloween 4. I did enjoy this one as well. Original poster art, The Return of Michael Myers. 10 years ago, he changed the face of Halloween. Tonight, he's back. So there's the spine. I didn't actually open the disc up for Halloween 3. It's only one disc. 
Um, Halloween 4 actually only has one disc as well. And there is some special features right there. So if you guys want to see that. I don't know if these are new. Um, because I know the Halloween uh, DVD I have for part 4 had some special features. So I'm not sure if it's the same one from then. So there's that. Halloween 5. Another one I did enjoy as well. Revenge of Michael Myers. There's the original poster art. So it says Michael Myers and this time they're ready. There's the back right there. And there's the special features. And uh, this one is one discs as well. I love the whole black casing on this. Very, very nice. Um, I'm missing one here. And the one I'm missing is Halloween 6. Now I just got to see where I placed that disc. But in the meantime, you guys can just wait a quick second here while I hunt this disc down. Because I was watching this not too long ago and here it is. So the next one is Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. So this is the one I really wanted to get. Um, for this set and it's the curse of Michael Myers. You got the original poster there terror never rests in peace Here's the back. So this one does have a lot of special features It's got behind the scene footage um, It has a uh, I think it has new interviews as well alternate and deleted scenes Now if you guys have seen I think this one's two discs. Yeah, this one's two discs as well I really enjoyed the original version of this movie when I saw the um The director's cut. I think that's what it's called the director's cut, right? I don't think it's producer's cut. I think it's the director's cut. But when I watched it, oh my god, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you, um, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. The whole it made the whole movie so much different. And to me, it just seemed the pacing was really fast. I don't know. They just cut so much stuff out and added like stuff in that just to me it made the movie like crappy. But I didn't really enjoy it. Let me see what it's called if they have it on here. There's, there's the theatrical cut. Yeah, it's a producer's cut. So, I don't know. I mean, leave it. you guys have to watch it and tell me what you guys think. If you guys have seen it, if you guys have the set. But I didn't really care for the producer's cut. But it was still a cool watch. I mean, it was a totally different movie. Just totally different movie. So, there's the Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. And, there, again, it's loaded with a lot of special features. Next up, Halloween H2O. I remember seeing this one in theater. Got the original poster there. 20 years later, Jamie Lee Curtis, LL Cool J, Josh Harnett, and I forget these two people. Uh, this summer, Tara won't be taking a vacation. All black discs. There's a spine or casing. Um, there's the special features on this. I think there's some new special features, but I think that's on the bonus disc. But um, I didn't really care for this movie, to be honest with you. I don't know if you guys liked it, but this one I didn't really care for. It's not bad. I just didn't really care for it. So there's that one. Next on up, I think this is the last one from the series, and that's Halloween Resurrection. And... Uh, it says evil finds its way home got Busta Rhymes I forgot her name but she's pretty and then um, of course Jamie Lee Curtis ah didn't like this one at all I thought this one was a terrible movie to be honest with you, I just didn't like it at all there's the uh, spine here's the back there's some image there and then there's some special features right there all the special features and you open this up and it's one disc so that's the original like series for um, Halloween now we'll get into the remakes, which is Rob Zombies, and these ones I did not care for whatsoever. And you get Halloween 1 right here. This is the Rob Zombie fill. I do like the poster, though. And there's a spine. There's a back right there. So there's all the special features right here that you get. Some bloopers and stuff. So you get the unrated director's cut with commentary. There's two versions right here. So there's disc 1 and disc 2. So one is the director's cut. So that's pretty cool. But honestly, I don't really care for the movie. And then you get Halloween 2. I don't even know if I even saw Halloween Part 2. And again, this is a Rob Zombie film. Family is forever. There's the spine. And there's the back right there. And there is the um, special features. I, again, didn't really care for this movie. Now this one here, the last, the last one, which is Halloween 2, the Rob Zombie film. You get the bonus disc, the complete collection bonus disc. So I don't know why they put it in with Rob Zombie's film, but this one does have a two disc set. So this is the uh, bonus disc. It's going to have a bunch of bonus features on it. And um, this, I believe, I could be wrong. I think this is the, the one you get with just a 15 disc collection set. I don't think you get it with a 10 disc one. So I haven't watched this yet. I still need to watch this. But this is pretty much the entire collection that you get right here. You get all these 
you get all these movies, man. It's, and it's, again, to me, it's just really, really great. Um, you pay over $100. I'm pretty sure the price will eventually go down, but I wanted to get this, you know, as soon as it came out. I don't know if it's going to be limited or what. I know it's a, I know it's a limited edition, but I mean, who knows if it really is going to be limited or not. But really cool to have this. The only one I need as far as collection sets go is going to be the, um, the Friday the 13th. But that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this set. Are you guys going to pick it up? Or are you guys going to pick up this set or the other set? But let me know if you guys have this and let me know your guys' thoughts on this. All right, guys. This is Seha Man. Today we're taking a look at the Halloween, the complete collection, the 15-disc set. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys later. Take care.